And the horrific events that took place that day dropped a nation to its knees as they mourned the loss of those innocent lives. One woman still mourns the loss of her best friend, Captain John Gaffney, who arrived at Fort Hood just two days before the shooting as he was preparing to head to Iraq. Six News reporter Barry Roy has their story. I said, there's no way that it could be your dad. He just got there. I mean, he had just got to Fort Hood the day before. Christine Gaffney will said, never no forget way. the frantic phone said, call. And I said, Sergeant Kramer, what's going on? What's going on? He, he said, he, ma'am, I can't talk right now. That ultimately said, gave way to a reality so, she wishes was. wasn't her own. We got the knock at the door and there was um, a CAC officer and a chaplain and they told us that John was one of the soldiers that was killed at Fort Hood. Captain John Gaffney was a psychiatric nurse out of San Diego, a Navy veteran. He later served 15 years with the California Army National Guard. John, Christine says, was eager to rejoin the military following the attacks on September 11th. He was determined to want to go back in. When he heard the Army was in need of mental health workers in Iraq and Afghanistan, he took a lower rank as captain to get there and help. It was just unbelievable, and my son was a little angry because he said he never wanted his dad to go back into the service. On that November day 10 years ago, the heroism of Captain Gaffney, Christine would later learn, was on full display as he faced certain death just hours after his arrival. He threw a chair at the um, a person that was doing the shooting and um, got him off balance a little bit. Otherwise, there would have been more... Um, soldiers killed. Christine says it's gotten easier the last 10 years, but it hasn't gotten better. Life without her best friend is still as painful as when it happened. There's just an empty spot in my life. He meant so much to me and to my son.